Hey Jules Plus Vegan and as always welcome to my channel and for those of you who are new I know you can benefit. It's a new day people. <laughs> a new day 24 little hours. Didn't we sing that before? What a difference a day makes. 24 little hours. Okay so did I sleep more? I most certainly did not. I got to bed at about 1 30. Uh, <laughs> did I have less stress in my life? Absolutely not. I had a major meeting this morning. I was tripping out on whether I was prepared for it or not. Absolutely not. All right, so what was the difference? <sighs> the difference was absolutely remembering my why, okay? Getting back into remembering why I'm choosing health. Getting back into remembering why it's so refreshing when I actually eat to live instead of living to eat. You know, when I am distraught or discontent, it's because I'm dreaming about nonsense foods, okay? Toys, food-like products that will never serve me. And because of the compulsive tendency within me, will never fulfill me. I mean, seriously, like none is ever enough. I know this to be true. But I totally ate on plan today in an abundance because that's how it is when you eat raw. You can eat in abundance because of calorie density. So I had a tremendous amount of lovely food. The difference is I felt it. I was completely present while I ate and I completely knew that I was consuming food and my body didn't even want all of it. Like seriously, at the end, I stopped about let's see if it's the bowl's one sixteenth. <laughs> if it's 16 servings in a bowl i probably had at least two servings left all right yay me and i chose not to consume them i was absolutely full i'll just say that um anyway though isn't that great right so what if yesterday i was tripping out so bad that i had already planned for today uh to you know blow it i mean hey it's friday right I was a weekend warrior forever, and of course I mean food, not exercise. <laughs> so why not just blow it and start fresh on Monday? We all know the gig, right? And so my situation was I was on my way home from work, and I had to stop by the bank. And I knew that in this bank, there were at least three places that were triggers for me. And I was just like, can I even risk going there? I'm feeling so vulnerable right now. And one place in particular, directly next door to the bank, which has been a haunt of mine in the past, was closed. What? <laughs> that was so God. It was absolutely closed. Like it was not even an option. The second place had a line down the block and I couldn't even pretend to handle that. And by the time I talked myself through all of that, I was able to do the bank and avoid the third place completely. Praise God, I made it home and ate all of my loveliness, which I had prepared. Okay, I was handled. So I'm so grateful for that. So back to the goal setting for October. What my goal is, I changed my mind on weighing myself. I can't do it. Whenever I weigh myself, I've expressed this before. If it's a good number, it gives me wiggle room to binge. If it's a bad number, it gives me an excuse to abuse myself with food. It's the irony of all time. So it was kind of odd for me to suggest that I was going to weigh myself and try and look at five pounds at a time. Luckily, God's little angels, honestly, a couple of people on this um on Jules Plus Vegan wrote and said, hey, how about if you measure instead? And I'm like, so yes, oh my gosh, so yes. And they were like, yeah, because you know, um, an inch at a time is just the best way. It's so measurable. It's like making a smart goal, right? I mean, you can actually measure the change, certainly set a date, I mean, it's all going to be grace anyway, but let's just say for the month of October. And if you're just joining us, don't panic, especially today. It's only the second day uh, and there are 31. <laughs> so if we kind of cut off the 31st and you know what I mean, it's going to work out. Anyway, it doesn't matter when you start. Let's go ahead. So I this morning I actually got out a tape measure and I measured my waist. I was pleasantly pleased, I will have to tell you. It's not that I'm not still heavy, I absolutely am. 
but I'm acutely aware of what the numbers used to be for years. And I was like, I'm not kidding you. Those things are 60 inches. There were times when I wondered if it was going to fit. I, that's the smallest exaggeration. I think I did get to like 56 inches when I was 330 pounds, something crazy like that. I remember being 48 inches. Um, I'm not going to tell you what I am right now, but I will be absolutely honest in recognizing the inches. So I always do some kind of an athletic challenge anyway, and I'm going to be happy to see a measurable change in what really matters. So that's the goal. If you're going to stick with us for October, why don't you get out that tape measure and measure any part of your body that you want? You know, maybe it'll be your waist. Maybe it's going to be your thighs. Maybe it's your arms. My arms are freak of nature. So I'm not going to get into that right now because they're the only arms I have. <laughs> and I'm working on them. But yeah, they're freaks of nature. So I would probably love to see a difference in my arms. Now, okay, what about people who don't have any weight to lose? And you're like, you know what, Jules, I'm already thin. Might you put on a half inch or an inch of just really healthy muscle, right? Um, might you consider that? Can you get in there and actually work out or change your body in certain ways? Or come on, dare you step up? I would lend you my obesity if you needed some. I offer people my eyebrows every time just before I get them done. I have like a lot of everything. I don't know at some point if I'll be able to donate hair. But for those of you who are just too thin, it would be just as scary for you to make that promise that you're going to increase your size as it is for me to decrease mine. What do you think? Come on. Jules Plus Vegan, man. I got prayer going down. What do you think? Okay, but stick around for just a moment because I do have a great talk and a super important talk on something I'm going to share with you tomorrow. Oh, no, she didn't. Yes, I did. <laughs> I just chained that up, people, because as I suggested, I didn't go to bed till 1.30. Of course, I had to get up at 5.30. I went to school, drove out to the desert both ways, of course, and I need to give some attention to my husband who needs to get up at 3 o'clock and do his life. So I am going to share that talk, but I will tell you, it's going to encourage you to want to get out that tape. Are they called tape measures? Anyway, whatever they're called, the soft one, right, the cloth one. How is that different? It's probably called something else. A cloth tape measure, I guess. Anyway, you might want to consider getting that out. And tomorrow, I will give you reason for the importance of doing it, especially heavyweight champs like myself. Um, if you're not heavy, again, might you have the courage to say, I'm going to go ahead and put on a quarter of an inch. <laughs> I know it's equally scary people we're the same okay it's all disordered disordered thinking disordered eating disordered oh but what a much better day praise God and this community that said Jules seriously girl you're looking fine trust yourself hey Jules how about doing the tape measure instead of weighing yourself hey Jules I'm willing to listen what are you stressed about I'm here for you what <laughs> Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Like seriously, thank you so much. How blessed am I? I I'm just crazy blessed. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. All right, like if you like, join us if you haven't, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below how I may support you. And until we talk again, tape measure, coming back tomorrow for why it's so important. And know that you're blessed. <laughs>